What's up guys? So I wanted to make this video about linear progression as it's something I have a lot of experience with. I've used to success. Um, I've made great gains with it. Um, I've used it to peak for meets with great success. Um, used it in off seasons with great success. Um, and I want to talk about where people mess it up. And this is more for intermediates because these are who I see uh, setting up their linear progression wrong. For those of you not familiar, your linear progression is you know just what it says. You progress in a linear fashion, um, i.e. you add um, a set amount of volume uh, each week or each two weeks, be it in the form of sets or reps, or you add intensity each week or every two weeks in the form of more weight. Um, so just to simplify this, uh, Let's just say we're talking a basic five by five program, uh, a three day split, you know, a deadlift day or a squat day, a bench day and a deadlift day. Um, and we're progressing with intensity. So where most people I see make the biggest mistake is they start too heavy. Um, you do not want to start with, uh, you know, an RPE nine and a half on your fifth rep of your fifth set uh, as your first week and a lot of people do this they think oh i'm going to run a five by five linear progression and they start and they want to be completely taxed at the end of their five by five um so you know they're almost at failure their fifth rep of their fifth set and you know maybe the next week they add five pounds and it's the same result and then maybe they add five pounds the next week and you know same result they're finishing but just very bleh, but just barely um you run into a wall quick uh, and you know then at that point you have to start over and reset or you know a lot of people say oh this programming sucks it's no good I hit a wall in only three weeks um, you know I'm gonna do something else so where you should be setting it up is setting it up where your first week you know assuming you want to add five pounds a week or even five pounds every two weeks, you hit the same weight for two weeks and then bump five pounds. Um, add with something, start with something you finish easily. Um, something you can do for a set of 10, uh, you should be able to easily complete a five by five. Uh, and how I like to, my own little personal twist to it and how I uh, programmed my one individual client that I had, uh, who is no longer with me, RIP Walrus Bay, um, but he saw great results with it before we were done. He had life changes. Anyway, it's irrelevant. Uh, start with something you can do easily. And then, like I said, my twist uh, is for the last set, uh, do an AMRAP to an RPE9. Why I like to do this is because you are starting very easy. Um, so you'll do four sets of five. They should be a breeze. You really shouldn't be fatigued at all going into your last set maybe slightly but the first week you shouldn't really be fatigued at all and then that last set go to a amrap to an rpe9 not not a complete failure leaving one in the tank and you know you know that first week you're gonna hit eight nine when i program i start them even lower and they should be hitting like 11 or 12 reps on their last one but you know that's the concept you hit eight or nine reps on that last set um, you get volume in, you do accumulate some fatigue, but you left one in the tank, uh, so you're not completely taxing yourself, um, and you're good to go for the following session, um, you're good for your accessories, that that session, um, etc. And so you start, like for me, say on bench press, I'll start my 5x5 five five block with like 365 pounds. Um, my fifth set, I will, you know, probably get close to 15 reps with that um i'll add five or ten pounds the next week you know however i feel uh and it allows me to still get in good volume um uh, and not completely fatigue myself and progress in that linear fashion for a long time uh and the more time you can do it the farther you're gonna go so say i start at 365 and i start adding five or ten pounds a week um, maybe I'll add 10 pounds this week, five pounds next week, 10 pounds, then five pounds, just, you know, depending, but I gave myself plenty of room to grow. Um, I can run that linear progression for eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 weeks, you know, depending upon the jumps I make 
And where I started at 365, you know, I think I ended my last 5x5 five five at 465, a complete 100 pounds higher uh, than I started. Whereas if I were to say started at 425, 5x5, five five, um, you know, I might be able to add 5 pounds a week, you know, for 3, 4 weeks tops, maybe 5 weeks. Um, and I will hit that ceiling sooner than if I started lower and probably hit that ceiling with a lower number or else if I start at 425, you know, maybe I only get to 445, 450 before I stall. Um, whereas when I start at 365 and gave myself time and room to grow, um, I will not hit that wall until maybe later because I had more time to build up volume, strength, etc. cetera. Uh, so give yourself room to grow if you're going to set up a linear progression program. Do not start where it is hard to finish your first uh, training session because you're going to hit a wall quickly. Um, and then the other big mistake I see is when people do hit that wall, they think in their head, oh, I hit the wall, this sucks, I need to move on to a different type of training. Where in reality, if you were running a 5x5, five five, uh, depending upon what your goals are, if your goals are just like general strength or whatever, uh, just go back and reset, do your same 5x5 five five and you know you started at 365, this time you hit a wall at 465, um, go back and start at 385 this time and work your way back up and you know theoretically you should get past that 465 when you work your way back up to it the second go around. Um, However, if, if you're more specialized and you want to take what you accumulated in that 5x5 five five and then go to translate that to a bigger, you know, more powerful one rep max, well, you hit your wall on your 5x5s, five five um, maybe think about switching to 3x5s three or 3x3s. Three um, so take, you know, you finished your 465, 5x5, five five, you hit a wall, maybe you failed on your fourth rep of your fifth set. Well, you hit four sets of it easy. So you should be able to add five pounds, maybe even 10 pounds, 475, and do three sets of five, no problem. Um, but if you're really looking to peak at a one rep, I would just go to a three by three um, and then you know run that, add five pounds from 465. Again, you did it for four sets of five and one set of four. Three sets of three should be a breeze at 470. Um, and you know again, AMRAP on your third set, hit six, hit five, hit six, you know, add five pounds and et cetera, um, and set it up like that. You know, then you hit that wall of three by threes, spend three weeks working on singles and go hit a new one rep max, et cetera. Um, but yeah, in a nutshell, eight minutes of explaining that two biggest mistakes mainly committed by novices are a, um, starting too heavy or with too much volume or whatever. Um, and B, not knowing what to do when they do hit that wall.